Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word Is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, so this here out of Harris County, Texas. Houston to be exact. This guy, Gerald Goins, police officer, a true bootleg, people, real bootleg. And they're using this guy, Gerald Goins, as an example. Okay, this is a black man here, narcotics officer with the Houston Police Department for many, many years. And during his career, the white men allowed him to run around and do whatever he wanted to do. For years, he ran around feeling like the big Negro in the room. Okay, but that all came to an end for him. He really messed up. Back in 2019, January to be exact, this guy, Gerald Goins, right? Again, he's with narcotics. So he did a no-knock search warrant raid at an address called 7815 Harding Street. Now, the people who lived at this house is a white American man named Dennis Tuttle and his woman, Rogina Nichols. I don't know if they're married or they just were a couple or what. So Gerald Goins and his Houston PD goons, narcotics goons, they bust up in there, kicked in the door, guns blazing. And this man, Dennis Tuttle, and his wife, Rogina Nichols, or his woman, they started shooting back. So when Gerald Goins and his narcotics goons bust up in there, they weren't prepared for what was behind that door. Dennis Tuttle and his woman, Rogina Nichols, Nicholas, I'm sorry, they started shooting back. They were not prepared for that. They started blazing back at these guys. The outcome was this couple right here, they both passed away. The cops took their lives and multiple officers got shot. Even Gerald Goins got shot. I believe it was about three or four officers who got shot and this couple, they lost their lives in that shootout. So what happened since these people lost their lives in this house, remember they're white people. They did an internal investigation, and they found out that Gerald Goins, who led this raid, fabricated a whole story to get this no-knock search warrant. He wasn't supposed to get it, people. He lied. He told the judge that there was a confidential informant who purchased heroin from this couple's house, and that's why they needed this no-knock search warrant. Like, basically, we got to get in there. It's safer for us to have this no-knock search warrant. We don't want to warn them, you know? We got to go in there, guns blazing, boots stumping. But this guy, Gerald Goins, he was lying, y'all. He was lying the whole time. There was never a confidential informant who even bought drugs at this house. And his lies are what led to them getting this no-knock search warrant. So when they did their investigation, they found out this dude was lying, this Gerald Goins, and now he's going down, people. He's going down. The Houston Police Department, the state of Texas, the county, they got him. They charged him with two counts of felony murder for those two lives and many other charges, okay? Um, this happened in 2019, and this just came to a head. It just was resolved just now in 2024. He had the trial for these murders, and this guy, Gerald Goins, he went down, people. Obviously, he was in, with some uh, good white folks in Houston, Texas, who went to his trial. He had the former mayor's wife, the, the former mayor of Houston, his wife came, who was a white lady named Elise N Lanyard. She came to stand for him and speak on his behalf. And this guy's daughter, this woman's daughter as well, the former wife's, the former mayor's daughter, Courtney, came and took the stand for him. Uh, his daughter took the stand for him, his pastor, people like that. And they tried to say that this man was just a gentle giant. Uh, he made a mistake. He didn't mean any harm. This, this, and that. He shouldn't be charged or held accountable for these two people losing their lives, but absolutely not at all, people. This guy, Goins, is a big, rotten coon, a sleazeball. He did terrible things to support his family throughout this, his entire career. And I agree. Get this dude up out of here. He got 30 years, people. Well, actually, he has to do 30 years in order to see parole. In 30 years, he'll be 90. 
I believe he got 60 years. So I say get his big dusty black behind up out of here. Gerald Goins is one of those guys that go to work in law enforcement, act like a butthole, forget that they have people who are being harassed, meaning black people or, you know, black people who have an uphill battle. They abuse their own people. They abuse people, period. They have no problem of, a problem of abusing black people, uh, taking advantage of his power. They, these guys just really push it to the limit with, with whatever power the white man gives them. I don't know for people who ever been in law enforcement, I've been around these type of guys before, and they're absolutely disgusting and terrible. They love the power that the white man gives them. Then they go around and act like a great good guy when they get around white people. And then when they get around black folks, they try to show that they the HNIC. I know guys like him. That's why I know he's a disgusting specimen. Get him up out of here. They gave him 60 years. He has to do 30 before he can see parole. He'll be 90-something then. They tried to get this dude a lesser sentence. Um, they tried to give him five years in prison, claiming that if you give him more than 10 years, it will be a death sentence. Um, saying that, uh, you know, this guy doesn't belong in there. But this is the thing with this dude, people. He was facing all kinds of civil lawsuits. Other people in the city of Houston who he lied on and planted drugs on and fake guns on and things like that. He's been doing this for years. There's a man who was uh, falsely convicted of a drug possession because this guy, Goins, went and made false statements on him. This is all facts. And in addition to these charges, he's facing more criminal charges in federal court. So this guy, Goins, people, he's one of those disgusting people, harassing the citizens, harassing his own people, feeling bigger than, planting drugs. Uh, he had throwdown weapons. He planted these throwdown weapons on people. Okay? People, Gerald Goins is that nasty cancer, that Negro cop in your hood, in your area, being a hood terrorist, doing whatever he wants to do to people, especially to black people, because they know they can he sent many people away to prison, took them for their families, doing things, planting drugs, lying, planting weapons, brutalizing people. Didn't care as long as he felt as though his white daddy would pay him and he was getting a paycheck. Now they went and let this old big black dummy hang himself. He got too cocky. He took the lives of two white people. He's responsible for that and their white dog. Okay. So after this, them white folks said, no, 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 no. We got to stop you now. Had he did this to somebody black, it would have been pushed to the side. You know what I mean? But nah, them white people said, no, no, well, you, you can't be doing this. Yeah, you could tell these people are involved in something. You know, you could tell, but they don't care. You're responsible for taking two white lives in the white community. Now he's going down like a dummy. He's going to sit down in prison. He can't get out until the age 90 something. And if you can see from videos and things like that of him, he's done. This guy's already passing out in court. His body's at war against him because he's evil. He's getting his punishment already. Hasn't even went to the state penitentiary yet. Look at him, y'all. He done passed out. Okay. They say he's only 60 or something like that, but his attorney says that he's an old, worn-out 60. That's because he's toxic and evil, slime in his veins. His organs are failing from the guilt from all the evil things he has done to people, primarily black people too, y'all. That's why he's an old 60-something. You know what I'm saying? I bet there are many people that don't like this dude. I guarantee you. All the work he put in for Whitey. They allow him to abuse his own people on his narcotics crew for years. He got a little bit too cocky, went this far with it, and then white folks, they checked him. You know what I mean? He thought he was going to lie to the judge and lie and get a uh, no-knock search warrant. Then white people say, nah. See, they thought they was just going to run up in there. 
So them white folks was behind that door. They blazed back because they didn't know who it was. They didn't know who it was. You know? And then white people showed this Negro right here. Yeah, we let you run around and do that, but you're supposed to do that to your people. You don't, you're responsible for taking the lives of two white Americans? Nah, nah. You're going down, Gerald Goins. And he is. And he is. All the abuse and terror that he did in the black community. These guys, Gerald, if he was white, if that couple in that house was black, this dude would still have his job. If he was white in that house, if that couple in that house was black, if those officers got in trouble, they would have just went to another agency and kept on working. They're not getting no 30 years, y'all. He got too cocky. You know how I believe he got busted? He tried to say that at the time that he was making a sale, right? Undercover, making a sale at this house, right? With these people, he was saying they were involved in narcotics. So that's what he used for his warrant to get this no-knock search warrant from the drugs. Oh, I mean, for, from the judge. Oh, I went there and I made a narcotics buy or sell. But then when they went and searched his car, there was a receipt in his car for like a soul food restaurant in Houston at the time that he was supposed to be doing this undercover investigation at this house. So the white people said, hold up, we found this receipt in this car. Let's go to this place that he was at and check the camera, check the footage. Sure enough, at the time that he was supposed to have been doing some kind of investigation that was going to sell the deal to get him this no-knock search warrant saying he made a sell or a buy at this house, whatever it was, they got him on camera at the soul food restaurant, stuffing his face. Gerald Goins is going down. You're done, buddy. And I hope he suffers a slow, nasty death in his cell. I despise a coon like him. I'm glad the white folks finally threw him in the trash. And people understand, this guy, Gerald Goins, he was doing whatever he wanted to do because the white folks allowed him to do it as long as he was primarily primarily doing it to his own people. Okay? And here's the thing. This department here, this Houston PD, these guys are still doing it. There are many white guys on the force doing things like this and worse. Okay? They're trying to say Gerald Goins is the real life training today. So what they're doing is they're putting all this attention on him as if he's the worst person in the world when you got the entire department full of white supremacists and rednecks and people who allow this stuff to go on for years. If Gerald Goins is doing this, somebody white allow him to do it, and there are many other guys on the force with their white supremacist badges and their actions doing worse, okay? So what he's doing right now, they're using him to take attention off of all the folks who are on his force doing much more evil, okay? And they got these, they, you know, they putting this picture out in the news of this white couple looking innocent, I'm sure they're in the drug game. You could tell from the pictures, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I don't feel sorry for this dude at all. And this goes for all the rest of the years, expiring, aspiring bootlicks who want to be like Gerald Goins, happy that the white man gives you a little bit. You want to run wild with it, abuse your own people, getting cocky. That's what happens. Then white people let you run a little bit for a while. Then you start to think, oh, I'm really one of them. Because if Gerald Goins was white, this wouldn't be the case. I don't think so. I think something would have happened, but this dude wouldn't be in prison to the age of 90 just to see parole. I don't think so, y'all. What y'all think? Or if that couple in that house was black, I think Gerald Goins would have got off. I mean, people, throw this guy in the trash. Let me know what you think about this. Easy.